Hello, welcome to my bookshelf, and today I will be sharing with you my TBR for the month of June. I had a lot of fun coming up with a theme for last month's TBR, so I've decided to continue that trend by coming up with a theme for this month. So if you remember, last month my theme was book to movie adaptations, and this month's theme are books that are written in a non-traditional way. There's some kind of unique storytelling aspect to all of these books. Alright, so let's just jump into my TBR. The first book is actually the book that inspired this TBR, and that is Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. If you've been watching my channel, you will know that I've been talking about this book a lot lately, but that's just because I'm really excited about it and I haven't read it yet, so I'm finally just going to knock it off my list by reading it. And I honestly don't know that much about this book. I know that it's science fiction and that it's set in the future. This book is just a compilation of confidential files and instant messages and emails and letters and just anything that they wanted to throw in here. So it has a unique format and that in and of itself just made me really excited about this. I just, I really like books that take a chance and try something a little different. And that's kind of what my entire TBR is trying to celebrate. So I am extremely excited for this one. So hopefully it'll live up to my expectations, at least on some level. So, All right, the next book that I want to read this month is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I had actually recently mentioned this book in a video and Books and Looks, they suggested that if I enjoyed the movie that I would love this book and it would be perfect for summer, so I am taking their advice and I am going to read it this month. And the unique storytelling aspect is kind of like the frame story of this, so The Prince's Bride is also a book in this story written by someone else. And so this is a book within a book, like this book is the telling of this other book. It's kind of confusing, but it is unique, and so it fits into my category for the month. Like I said, I've loved this movie for a long time, and I'm really excited to finally read the book. Okay, so the next book that I want to read this month is A Cure for Suicide by Jesse Ball. Now, I apologize for the cover, it's kind of jarring to look at. This is some kind of dystopian. So this man and woman come to this village, and this woman is this examiner, and she's there to help explain to this man, like, what things are, what he needs to do. And this man is haunted by some dreams, and he meets this young woman at a party, and it kind of throws everything he's been learning into question. And so, from my understanding, it's kind of an exploration of, like, what is this village, and what is going on here. So. There is a lot of mysterious things that I don't understand as of yet, and that definitely piques my interest. So I just really like books that set up this strange place and you kind of slowly figure out like what is really going on here. I love that. And as far as my month's theme goes, there's just a bunch of like dashes and then sentences um, just throughout here. Um, I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be dialogue or thoughts or what. And then at the very end, there's just like these long, giant paragraphs. So there's definitely some kind of unusual format going on here. Since I haven't read it yet, I do not know exactly what they are, but I will find out soon enough. So this should definitely be an interesting read. Okay, so the next book that I want to read this month is My Name is Minna by David Almond. Now, when I got this, I didn't realize that it was a prequel to this book called Skellig. I've never heard of that. I believe this is a kid's book from my understanding. But either way, because this is a prequel, I figure it's not really a big deal if I read this before I read the original book. I mean, I guess I'll let you know if I have no idea what's going on, but it should be a pretty easy read. So the strange thing about this book is that it's basically just this girl's diary, her journal, if you will, and so um, it's written like that. There's just like lots of different uh, fonts and just, just like a unique style. And so there's even black pages in here, which again, a little unusual. So just the format of this book is just, is what makes it uh, unique. So I honestly don't know what it's about, other than a young girl finds this journal and she starts writing in it. 
And I guess if this book is really good, I'll have to pick up the original book, Skellig, and find out more. So the next book that I want to read this month is Letters of C.S. Lewis, and it's just that. These are letters that C.S. Lewis has written to other people. There are also excerpts from his journal in here as well, and they're just... And so they're all dated, and they're just like little... Just little blurbs, little sections, so... It'll be interesting to read someone else's letters. It feels kind of weird, but still kind of fun. Um, C.S. Lewis was the author of the Chronicles of Narnia. That's what he's most known for, but... He's also written lots of other nonfiction books just about his own insights on the world around him. And so I've read some of those and those have been really interesting and just really good reads. So I'm excited to read this as well. So the beginning of this book has a memoir written by C.S. Lewis's brother. So it's kind of a mixture of the two. But out of the way, I've enjoyed C.S. Lewis's writings for a while now. So I'm excited to find out a little bit more about him. Alright, so the next book that I want to read this month is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Now, this book is written as a letter from a victim to her captor. So this girl named Gemma, she was kidnapped, and now this entire book is just the letter written to the person that kidnapped her. So a very unusual premise, but a very interesting one, and something that really piques my interest. So I'm really excited about this book, even though it's kind of a dark topic. I just, those things just really interest me. So I'm curious to see if this is as good as it's supposed to be. After all, did win an award and all. All right, so the next book that I want to read this month is Stories from a Moron, Real Stories Rejected by Real Magazines. And this is by Ed Broth. And there's a forward, I guess, by Jerry Seinfeld. So this should be a pretty funny read, um, that's the intention behind it. But yeah, it's just as the title suggests, there are short stories in here and then it's followed by the rejection letter that he actually got um, by the publishing company. So there's an example there. He said that he did um, remove a couple of things, but he didn't add anything to the letters themselves. So. That's kind of an interesting premise. I have never been brave enough to submit anything to be published, so I don't know what that experience is like. So it'll be interesting to get a taste of that. And it's also just really interesting to me how many times he's tried to get these things published. That to me shows a lot of dedication. I feel like after a couple of rejections that would just really like hit home like so hard to me that I don't know if I would keep submitting them, but if it's something that you're really passionate about, it makes sense to keep going, so. I don't know, I just think this is a cool premise for a book and I'm excited to, to read these short stories to see if they're actually any good at all. Maybe they should have been rejected. I don't know, we're gonna find out. I'm also really curious if they give reasons for why they reject each short story and to see if they fit that short story at all. It should be an interesting read. The last book on my TBR is Intro to Alien Invasion by Owen King and Mark Jude Poirier. It's illustrated by Nancy Ahn. Now, as you can see, this is a little different than normal. And that's because it's a comic book. So yeah, this is just a giant comic book. Um, this is just a really cool book. So other than Fruits Basket and Charlie Brown, I don't own any comic books. I'm still pretty new to all of this, but I found this at the dollar store actually, and I just love the color. I think it's really beautiful. And I just think this is a really fun sounding book. It should be really funny and also just a really easy read. I mean, because again, comics don't take that long to read. Admittedly, I think this is aimed towards a younger audience, but I don't really care. I think it's fun. I'm a child at heart, so I think this will be a really fun read this month. Okay, so that was a long TBR. It seems kind of ambitious because I have eight books, but... A lot of those books should be pretty quick reads just because of the format themselves. Either way, I am really excited for this month's TBR. I, there's just a lot of books in this TBR that I've been excited to read for a long time. So this will be a really fun reading month for me. Please let me know what you think of these books. Are these good selections or not? I'm really curious to hear what you think. Alright, that being said, thank you for watching this video and until next time.